Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel, especially to all my students and their parents. Good morning, everyone. And if you are new to my channel, <laughs> Don't forget to ring the bell button for the next notification. Three like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. lesson for today oh, is how to measure time okay I, still this is for week one of the second quarter and this is your teacher Marife measurement of time time is the interval between two successive events the standard unit of time is second the second was originally defined in terms of motion of the earth, but today it is in terms of the vibration of cesium, cesium atom. The measurement of time is based on reality of the universe called motion. A year is defined as the time required for the earth to revolve around the sun. A day is the time required for the earth to rotate about its axis. One year is actually 365 and one-fourth days. But since it is inconvenient to have one-fourth day, the number of days in a year was rounded off to just 365 days. After every fourth year, one day was added since four times one-fourth days equals to one. This gave rise to what is called leap year. This indicated in our calendar by having 29 days every leap year. One month is the time required for the moon to complete one revolution around the earth. However, our calendar was constructed so that April, June, F September, and November has 30 days each, February has 28 during ordinary years, and 29 during leap year, and the rest of the months has 31 days each. Can you name the months that have 31 days? The units of time. One year is equal to 365 days or equals to 12 months. One quarter is equal to 3 months. One month is 30 days approximately. Actual number of days depends on the month. One week is equal to 7 days. And one day is equal to 24 hours. One hour is equal to 60 seconds. And one minute is equal as one hour is 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we have another measurements or measures of time. So one decade is equal to 10 years. One score is equal to 20 years. One century is equal to 100 years. And one millennium is equal to 1,000 years. You have been taught how to read a clock would designate the time of the day as a.m. or morning and p.m. or afternoon. When you say that the start of class is 7.30 a.m., this means it's 7.30 in the morning. It, if classes end at 11.30 a.m., the length of time between the two times is 11.30 to 7.30 or 4 hours. Example, if the bus starts at point at point A at 9.30 and reaches point B at 11.30 a.m., the elapsed time is 11.30 minus 9.30 that is equal to 2 hours. In business computations involving interest, we are sometimes required to find the actual number of days from one day to another. As an example, let us find the actual number of days 
from November 5 to 2021 to March 12, 2022. To do this, let us tabulate as follows. Okay, so from November, so since we started at November 5, so that's 30 minus 6 is equal to 25. Okay, so December has 31 days, January has 31 days, February is 28 days, and March 12. Since March, up to March 12, so that's 12 days. So we add this, we have 127 days, so the actual number of days is 127 days, okay? Right, let us convert as indicated. So we have 3 minutes, okay, so we are going to compute for this. So we know that three minutes, okay, one minute is about 60 seconds, okay, is equal to 60 seconds, so, okay, we can say that three minutes, which we will use a unit fraction, so that's 60 seconds. My hand is white. So 67, 60 seconds is equal to one minute. So we need to cancel minute here. Okay, so three times six is 18. So this we have uh, 180 seconds and three minutes. Okay, next, number two, we have 1.75 1, 1. days to one hour. So we know that um, for one day, okay, that we have uh, 24 hours. All right. So there are 24 hours in a day, so we could say that 1.75 days times 24, okay, so day, so 24 hours over one day, okay, so we need to multiply 1.75 times 24 so 24 times 7 is equals to 28 plus 230 4 times 1 is equals to 4 plus 3 7 2 times 5 is equals to 10 2 times 7, 14, plus 1, 15. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1, 3. So we have 0, 0. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Okay, so the, uh, there are uh, 42 R's, no? And... 1.75 days, so that's equivalent to 42 hours. All right, next we have find the time. So, from if we have uh, three hours and 40 minutes before 120, so we will start from one hour and 20 and then back to 12, so then 11. 20 then from this so we have already one okay 122 what is one r and then we have 10 20 then from 10 20 to 10 20 to okay then we have Nine twenty, but instead of nine twenty, uh, subtract natin yung twenty minutes so it's nine. So we have uh, the answer is nine o'clock because here so 
So we have one, two, three, and then we have here uh, ten twenty to ten twenty. Supposed to be the sixty minutes, but forty minutes only. So we have at nine o'clock. So that means three hours and forty minutes. Today is. 9 o'clock a.m. So it started at 9 o'clock a.m. or in the morning. So that's how we get the Okay, so let's find the elapsed time between each of the following. So we have so from 4 a.m. to 4.15 p.m. So we know that from 4 a.m. So, 4 p.m. That is equivalent to 12 hours. Okay, so 12 hours. 12 hours. So, that we have 15 minutes. So, that means... That's equivalent to the elapsed time is 12 hours and uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so that's the elapsed hours. So 12 hours and 15 minutes. Next. So let us solve this problem. So Mrs. Roman begins work at 8 a.m. She finishes 6 hours and 45 minutes later. So if we are going to write it uh, one by one, so 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 11, uh, 10 to 11, um, 11 to 12, and then 12 to 1, 1 to 2, so this is already 6 hours, then from 12, uh, from two to from two to two forty five. Okay, so that means uh, at what time does he she finish work? Okay, so Mrs. Roman will finish at two forty five in the afternoon. Okay, p.m. All right, so that. So for questions and clarifications, try it at the comments. Subscribe. Like. Share. And don't forget to ring the bell button for the next notifications. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Okay, so remember, gratitude is the best attitude. Thank you so much, everyone, especially to all my teams and all my students. I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.